I'm Joey Pucks. In today's video, we are talking about Destiny 2 Keybinds, so let's get into it. Now, I will say the group of guys that I play Destiny 2 with finally made the full transition from console over to PC, which is great news. And a few of them have expressed interest in transitioning from controller over to mouse and keyboard. It's a transition that I have undergone over the last few months. I'm making a relatively short video here just to kind of walk through my keybinds and give you some rationale and my thought process behind some of the selections that I've made. Now, listen, keybinds, sensitivity, all very, very personal. So take this with, hey, listen, this is what Joe does. My thought process might be a little bit different, but it'll give you a little insight into what I'm thinking about as I've made my selections. Now, in terms of mouse sensitivity, I've made a whole other video about that. It's up on the screen now. You can go check that out. This is limited to strictly the key binds on the keyboard and you can adapt this to if you have some kind of orb weaver or other type of device that you're using in lieu of the keyboard as well. All right, so let's just get right into the main stuff. The common settings here, WASD movement, okay, nothing nothing crazy there. My finisher I have set to G and, and I will say that I really don't like to go, if you look at your keyboard, I really don't like to go much further to the right than sort of the T, G, and V line there. If you kind of look at that as sort of the, the eastern front, if you will, I'm not going past that in terms of the keys that I am trying to reach. All right, emotes, whatever, I don't really use them all that much in, in PvP. Push to talk, I really don't use that much. Oh, to return to activity, that's a non-essential function as far as I'm concerned, so that can live beyond the eastern front there. In terms of aiming and, and, and shooting buttons here under character, now one thing you want to pay attention to when you're in your settings are these indicators here. So these with the filled in circle are only available when using a gun in first person. These without the grade in circle are only available when using a super or a weapon in third person like a sword. So bear that in mind that you can have some overlap here. So for example, left click is my fire button. Okay, light attack is my fire button as well, my left my left mouse button. Okay, reload I have set to R, that's a very standard function. Okay, here's where I kind of have put a little thought process in here. One of the things I'm thinking about is I want consistency across the FPS games that I play on PC. So my melee button on my mouse is the button, the side button that is closest to me. Usually like mouse button four or five, I don't recall exactly which it is. And that is something that goes across all all my games. So if we move down here just really quickly, my grenade then is the adjacent button on the side of my mouse and away from me. So my thought process there is I don't, just like on controller, I want to be able to control my movement with my left hand, WASD, and also where I look around all while meleeing and throwing a grenade. So some people use G for grenade that would or Q for grenade. That would require me to move my finger off of one of my movement keys on the keyboard in order to do that. I don't want to do that. So that's why I have melee set to this side button that's nearest to me. And I have grenade set to the mouse side button that is away from me. Now, of course, that assumes that you have a mouse that has side button functionality. A lot of gaming mice these days come with them standard, at least two buttons on the side. So You'll likely have that, but just be aware of it if you do not, okay? Uh, moving down here, I, I use hold zoom with the right mouse button. Okay, so I have to hold it down. That's, I think, a fairly standard setting. Block is set to be, I actually really don't use that because it is a non-grade in. I could have some overlap and I actually use the melee button. So if I'm carrying a sword or a relic or something like that with a blocking capability, I simply use that button. I find it easier to move uh, when I'm using that as opposed to trying to hold down B at the same time. Jump spacebar, kind of a standard one. Sprinting, I use the hold sprint button as opposed to toggle sprint. There's That's a personal preference thing. I prefer to know when I'm sprinting and when I'm not. Uh, conversely, I have crouch set to toggle as opposed to hold. Again, that's just kind of a holdover from when I was playing on controller on console, just getting used to that that approach. Class ability, here's another interesting one. I use the mouse scroll wheel down, so towards me. I play Hunter as my main. I've also tinkered with the Alt button as uh, as my class ability that would be activated using my, my thumb, I believe. And uh, I, don't know, I just kind of found that the mouse scroll wheel down was most efficient for me. Air move is X, that's a button I would use if I was playing Warlock, and I can use my thumb to do that. Interact. Here's an interesting one. A lot of people will bind interact and or 
crouch for that matter onto one of their mouse buttons and this is important when you're playing trials or elimination game type where you have resing and you want to be able to maintain movement without sacrificing the ability to interact and to res somebody so right now as it stands in trials if i want to res a teammate i have to use my pointer finger to hit e and that means that i cannot strafe to the right so there's a limitation there and i acknowledge it, it's just about maybe being smart as to when and where i res um, and, and how i am able to strafe we talked about the grenade already super is f against staying within my kind of eastmost boundary there I know some people maybe have super on Q or Z. It's really just is whatever comfortable F works for me. And it is something I use in other games as well to the extent there are ultimates there. I'm switching among my weapons, one, two, three. Again, all pretty standard stuff there. Let me explain why I have deactivated switch weapon, next weapon, previous weapon. We'll take the bottom two first. So next weapon and previous weapon would have been set to scroll wheel up or scroll wheel down on the mouse. Again, pretty standard settings. I got rid of those for two reasons. Well, one is my scroll wheel down, as I mentioned above, is my class ability, my dodge on Hunter. All right. I got rid of the scroll wheel up because I didn't want to inadvertently flick up the scroll wheel and change weapons in the middle of a gunfight or, or what have you. So I just took that off the table, don't even want to do it. Switch weapon when you're on mouse and keyboard function, similar to your, well, on Xbox, your Y button. You can Tap it once to switch between your primary and secondaries, you know, your kinetic and special. You hold it down to go to your heavy. I found that occasionally if I was trying to switch to my, my kinetic or my energy weapon using one or two, I would sometimes inadvertently hit Q and switch my weapon. I wanted to take that off the table. I didn't want to have that inadvertent trigger by hitting Q. So Q is, is unassigned right now and I don't use the switch weapon. If I want to go to magnetic, I hit one. If I want to go to energy, I hit two. If I go to power slash heavy, I go to three. End of story. And that's basically it. Okay, so as I said, an extremely personal set of preferences. You have to figure out what works for you. You have to get comfortable. I will also say that when it comes to configuring my keyboard in a physical sense, I don't play with it straight on. So it's not directly parallel, you know, uh, with my with my desk, for example, it's got a tilt to the right slightly. And I just found that the way that my hand was positioned and the keys I am most frequently trying to hit, that was just most comfortable. It's easy for me to get to, you know, shift and to control and to still move up to the numeral keys in terms of switching weapons. Also easy for me to get over to F and to G and, and, and so forth. So take that in mind, experiment a little bit around, figure out what works for you. For this tilted keyboard thing I know has been big in a lot of other FPSs, particularly if you have limited desk space because it does free up a little bit more space for your for your mouse. I know some players play with it, you know, almost uh, perpendicular to, to the desk, you know, if you're looking straight down on it. I don't go that far, but just a sort of a slight tilt. The point is that may work for you, it may not. You have to kind of experiment around and figure out what fact works for you, what doesn't work. And that's it. Listen, I hope you found this video helpful. Got a whole bunch of other Destiny 2 videos here on the channel. Go check out also youthegamers.com, U T H E G A M E R S.com, gaming, esports, other content produced by gamers. And that's it. I will see you next time. I am out. Peace.